Airbus recently announced the A350 freighter version. Airbus has received its first order for a new freighter version of its popular A350 aircraft as it looks to challenge Boeing's domination of the booming cargo industry. Aircraft leasing company LC and CMAC GM Group placed seven and five orders for a 350 freighter on the Dubai show this week respectively. Airbus hasn't had much of a presence in the air cargo business. For decades, Boeing has controlled the freighter sector. Almost every Boeing aircraft, from 737s to 747s, has played a part in the industry's cargo market. The 757-200s are the most commonly utilized operational freighters on the market, with around 290 in service. Boeing's game in cargo is way ahead of Airbus's. This is where Boeing has a significant advantage over Airbus. Boeing has freighter variants of almost every aircraft currently in service, but it also offers freighter conversions of existing old passenger planes, such as the Boeing 777s, in addition to manufacturing brand new dedicated freighters. If you didn't know, Boeing 767s are still in production, but only the freighter version. The A330 is the only aircraft that has been delivered as a freighter, which was not so popular in the cargo market when compared to the Boeing 777F. Both Airbus and Boeing were in a hunt to more orders in Dubai Air Show. But it seems that Airbus had a great achieve when compared to 408 orders of Airbus and 101 orders for Boeing. So, what we can expect from Airbus Freighter? Will it change the weak Airbus presence in cargo market? Airbus launched the A350 Freighter in July, based on the top-selling all-new A350. The A350F brings latest generation efficiency and choice to the large freighter market when compared to old outdated 757, 767 and MD-80. It seems Airbus might have a solid chance to succeed in this market as A350 will be only fuel-efficient and long-range capable aircraft, while the 777X freighter version is not yet ready for full development. Airbus expects entry to service on 2025. According to Airbus, the A350F will have a large main deck cargo area and a fuselage length tailored for freight operations. In addition, Airbus is attempting to challenge Boeing's cargo market dominance. Airbus hopes to change Airbus' absence in the cargo market as Airbus barely sold any freighter aircraft since 2015. Even Qatar Airways seems to be very much interested in the A350 freighter, while the A350F promises a quick entry into service. The actual delivery time of the first 777X freighter is an unknown, and A350 is expected to outperform the 777F in terms of payload by 4.5%. Ultimately it will also be lighter than 777F by 20 tons, and with its Trent XWB87K engine, gives ultimate performance Airbus hopes. So let's wait and see what is the inevitable result. Thank you for watching today's video. If you did like today's video make sure you like my video and subscribe to my channel. And goodbye.